Hi guys and welcome to my full build and final reveal for the Tamiya 135th 3 ton 4x2 German cargo truck. This will be one of three models featuring in my diorama build uh, as my entry into the Revel fan club Facebook page Luftwaffer group build. This is a great little kit. It's got um, options for four colours and marking schemes. Uh, the only thing uh, I wish this kit would add uh, is a detailed engine and the option to have the engine hood covers open to expose that engine but that aside it's great kit could be used in a lot of dioramic scenes so let's get on with the build so I started off pulling parts off sprues to do sub assemblies this is the chassis there's the leaf springs and the exhaust system they're stuck in place now onto the chassis then onto the transmission and steering. That's all in place there. I then masked all the windscreens and the uh, windows for the doors. There they are with the masks in place. Then moved on to wheel assemblies, got all the parts off the sprues for those, assembled them and got those on cocktail sticks ready for priming. Then added more parts to that chassis. Then moved on to the cab. Assembling the sub-assemblies there. That's the seat assemblies. And then the engine forward chassis. And there are the doors and the roof. And the two figures, a driver and a passenger. Assembled those. Had to do some clean up on those. That's the uh, cargo old parts. <coughs> Excuse me, there's the cargo old assembled. And then uh, some uh, metalwork strengthening struts that go on the underside of the cargo old. And then that rail that goes across the front on the top of the cargo old. And then moved on to all the drums and um, jerry cans. Assembled those with the hand pumps on two of those drums. And then everything was ready to be cleaned down with isopropyl alcohol. Let that dry. I then used black Steinol Res Primer. And then airbrushed everything with that. And then when that was dry, I used a Model Masters Gunship Grey, which I think is a nice colour. Airbrushed that onto the model. And then onto the hubs of the wheels and the jerry cans. I then started detail painting the interior of the uh, cab. Finished painting the wheels, the tyres, stripes on the water cans. Did a bit of detail painting on the underside of the uh, chassis. Then put the engine covers in place, they're not painted yet. Put the cab onto the chassis with the spare wheel. Then put the cargo hold in place. And uh, put some wheel uh, covers in place there, uh, wheel arches. And then airbrushed the engine bay covers, the doors and the roof. And when it was all dry, I gave everything a gloss clear coat, let that dry overnight. And then it was on with decals. There's the front decals in place. Also glued in the headlights there. Uh, rear decals in place. Decals on the doors. Then detail painted the shovel, pickaxe, winch, mirrors and uh, other things. Those decals were then sealed with another gloss clear coat that was allowed to dry. That was on to doing dirt wash. Mixing some raw umber with burnt umber. Thinned down with um, odorless mineral spirits. And then just brushed liberally onto everything. I rubbed that off and then moved on to a fading wash. So I used some light grey 
oil paint put spots of it all over the model let that dry for a couple hours then blended it all in with a cotton bud and then after that I moved on to a burnt umber oil wash to do panel lines and in all the recesses internal corners etc just to bring out some shadow and darkness and that's the underside and the wheels Now the two doors and the roof of the cab. Then moved on to doing mud effects using some accumulated dust, splash mud, and then mixed in a little drop of dark earth paint to darken it up. Applied that to the wheel wells. Then moved on to some Vallejo pigments using natural umber and old rust. And then when they were done, everything was given a final matte varnish. And these are just photographs showing that all in place, the mud effects and the pigments. There's all the wheels, doors, roof of the cab. Wheels are in place there now. looking dirty I just dropped in a couple of items there that I scratch built the ladder a couple of pallets the wheel the spare wheel comes with the kit there's the door and the roof of the cab finished painting this is a jerry can assembler that goes underneath the uh, cargo hold and there it is in place on the underside I then put the driver in position I then moved on to creating arched masks for the windscreen. I applied a um, matte varnish on the exposed areas. Put the doors on. Then removed those masks so it looks like a dirty windscreen. And dirtied up the side windows as well. I left the driver's side door open. Then fitted the pickaxe and the winch. And the shovel there on the driver's side. I then scratch built uh, a frame for the cargo hold. Uh, the four pieces that go across the cargo hold. Then did two longer pieces to go along the length to give extra strength and support. That was then primed with a black primer. I then used the gunship grey for the frame and then give it a, gave it a gloss clear coat to seal the paintwork in and mix the raw umber oil wash to dirty it up and that's just a rear view of that with the oil wash still on there and then moved on to paint all the jerry cans and drums and accessories and then did some chipping with metal colours and gave everything a gloss clear coat to seal that all in to make it ready for weathering some of those accessories are from the ICM figure kit for the ground personnel. When the gloss clear coat was dry, I used a touch of black with some raw umber to make a dirt wash. Applied that to all the parts. Let it dry for a couple hours and removed the excess just to give some tonal variation. Then again, I did a light grey wash to do some bleaching, fading. Applied spots of that all over, let it dry for a couple hours. And then remove that. I then wanted to make the canvas cover for the cargo hold. So using a Kleenex tissue soaked with liquid PVA glue. And dried that with a hairdryer. Stiffens it up. And then drew on the shape that I need with a pencil. That's coming up in the next slide. Cut that out, folded it and then put it over the framework. And then soaked it with PVA glue again and then it forms around all the framework to give it a natural sort of sagging look and then when that was dry I strengthened all the edges and corners with some scotch tape 
and then put in some holes around the periphery with a, a push pin primed it with a black Steinol res primer and then toned down some olive drab with a bit of white and airbrush that onto the canvas and then use some twine to go round through those holes I ordered 0.5 millimeter twine but when it came it was one millimeter looks a little too thick for my liking and I tried separating the two separate twines in that but it frayed and looked a mess well anyway that's it guys the next thing I did to that was uh, do some white staining bleaching on it and gave it its final matte clear coat then applied some dirt with uh, pigments so that's it guys let's move on to the final reveal hope you like it Oh, <laughs> my